said the Foreign Secretary Lisa Nandes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. China passed the national security law today. It is a direct challenge to the joint declaration and undermines not only the promises made to us, but that we made to the people of Hong Kong. He told me in this House a few weeks ago that at its application, Britain would act. That law comes into force tomorrow. He must not waver. Will he fulfil his promise to BNO passport holders? Will he stop dragging his feet on the Magnitsky legislation he was once so keen to champion and give us a firm date? And will he confirm that this has now changed the government's thinking on Huawei? He said just a few weeks ago we would live up to our responsibilities to the people of Hong Kong. It would be extraordinary with the UK to turn back now. We must live up to those responsibilities. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Can I thank the Honourable Lady for her support for the Government's position, which, as we've already made clear, if once the national security legislation is published, she hasn't seen it, because I haven't seen it, and it hasn't been translated. Yes, but she hasn't seen the legislation. So I think the right thing to do is wait to see it. But, as we've made clear, if it is as we expect, um, then it would be not just a challenge, as she said, to the Joint Declaration, it would be a violation of the Joint Declaration. It would undermine the autonomy of the people of Hong Kong and the freedoms. I welcome her support. It's incredibly important. She says it's weak. She hasn't read the legislation. She can't have done because it hasn't been published. No, so she can't. Uh, how can she say that it's weak? What I have committed already to this House, I'll come to this House and make sure all honourable members uh, can be updated, not just on what we'll do on BNOs, which I can confirm we fully intend to see through, but any other action we want to take with our international partners. Tony, I'm Tony.